got to do. Welcome. Show, them, show them those blue eyes. What's up, opinionated <laughs> family? Welcome to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. We are here for your enjoyment again today. Now, I got this video I want to play. Dre sent it to me. Are we live to... Uh... No, we're just recording, dude. This is You just oh, picked okay. record. You didn't pick live. You Good. could record it. But I want to play this clip. This clip, when he sent me this clip, this shit had me immediately hot. So I'm going to play it, and then we're going to describe it and talk about it, and then we're going to break it down. So here you go. Here you go. Bank statement in the mail that I don't know nothing about. I got to work two jobs, about $20,000, knowing we're struggling, man. This. Why do I got a bank statement in the mail uh, with an account that I don't know nothing about? First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. That's why the account is there. Why are you taking money out of my account while I don't know? You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not. If we uh, were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here for nothing. We got to make sure we good. Yes, this don't no. got nothing to do with you sitting taking money out of account that I work hard for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? You want, don't this you want is working you for you. This ain't working for no, us. No, it is. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm a woman. If, I, if you were to leave me, I need to be okay. What is the problem? You need there? to be a problem. Okay. You're a self. You know what's wrong with me? Listen, check this out. At the end of the day, you in the county with that. I'm already struggling. I have to make sure I'm good. I can't. I can't. I'm not about to argue with you about money. You are self. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Everything I've done for us. Are you serious? You mad because I'm putting everything you've done for who? Everything you done serious? for me, I'm the one working. I'm the one putting in the time. You cannot be for real right now, Keith. Everything I do for us, and you're mad that I put a little money to the side for me? Everything you do for yes. us. Everything you do yes. for me. My wife just got me. Wow. Yo, I, I stand with Keith. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm just going to give it to my point of view. Break the video down. Break it down, Kev. Okay. You got it. <clears> for what it sounds like, it sounds like he's working and she's not. It also sounds like she's pulling out from an account that they have together as a family, but she's not putting in the account. <clears throat> he's working. She's using the money and she's got 20 bands. I want to know where the 20 bands came from as a husband. I want to know where you get $20,000 from. And that ain't no little bit of money. That's not no little bit of money. So, yeah, I'm going to feel like him. <clears throat> if we're struggling, I'm working my ass off just so we can be above water. And you have the capability to change our situation. I don't I don't see uh, there's nothing wrong with her having her own money. Nothing wrong with that. 20 bands, though, while somebody's struggling, you can't put five in a pot, 10 in a pot to make sure that everything's good for the family. Because that's what that's what y'all got. Y'all got kids together, huh? No, yes. If you do, <clears throat> are you expecting your husband to get everything for you and the kids while you sitting on this money? If y'all don't have kids, why wouldn't you be using that money to do whatever you can do to alleviate this man's stress? It don't sound like at this point right now you're his piece. It sounds like you were watching the scenario happen. You have the ability to change the scenario. But you don't. You want to keep that money for yourself in case he leaves you. Why do you have the thought that he's going to leave you? You should. Why? Why would you have that thought? Is there something going wrong? And you decide, you know, I'm going to put this in, in, in. I'm going to keep this account secret and I'm going to have all this money and I'm going to let us sit here and struggle. But the times you in my mind, I'm going to be like, oh, OK, so while we're struggling and I can't afford to do this or do that and you can. Are you doing that for yourself and not for us? You spending that little bit of money you got to do the things that you want to do I'm while I'm trigger. doing everything that I have to do for us. <clears throat> That's just ass backwards. And I'd be mad, too. I'd be looking for a divorce. I, I would definitely look for a divorce. Yeah. yeah. You killed it. Because <laughs> you know why? Everything he said was absolutely there was spot on, and yeah, because you to me, I was telling Kev earlier, you might as well, you might as well have cheated. Like what you did was dishonest, 
and it, I I would feel betrayed because the way he broke it down, if she's taking <laughs> money, if he's the only one working and she's taking money, and she's not telling him that she has this other account after after he he expressed that they were struggling. Yo, you honestly, what that sounds like is she was planning on leaving me. You ain't worried about me leaving you. You plan on leaving me because we probably struggling, <laughs> you fucking bitch. And when it gets too hard, you know you have an out. You got it out. What happens? You worried about oh, if you leave me, now nah, it should be the other way around. It's like oh, so when so if you decide to leave me, you know you got a cushion when you go. Yep. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the money that I spent while I'm using up all the money that I have mm -hmm. on us, you're gonna leave with that twenty bands, and I'm gonna be stuck having to pick up the pieces. Mm. And I'm heartbroken, you stupid bitch. Yeah, mm. yeah. Which you never know. You don't know how people react to shit nowadays. <clears throat> you might not I, be able to spend that money. I feel like <laughs> this, right? Yeah, yeah. Just leave it there. Um, I feel like this though, and I was saying this to Kev earlier. I feel like that's just some bad advice she probably got from an old bitter woman in her life. You ever heard that expression? Just make sure you got a little for yourself. Just make sure you got some for yourself. It's like a certain type of way they describe what it is. I forget what it's called. I'm, I'm going to just call it the squirrel fun. But keep something for yourself, girl. Make, it more. Make sure you keep something for yourself. And I think she took that advice from an old bitter-ass woman who probably was divorced her damn self. Could have been her father. He don't like the bull. Could have been he her could, father. He could have money. That he could have gave her the money. I just think that came from some bad them. tutelage. Bad yeah. tutelage. And this idiot argued him to death that's another thing that pissed me off she argued him to death about her having money squirreled away that he didn't know about while they were struggling so yeah we'll i feel the betrayed money. you can get the fuck out matter of fact don't get the fuck out i'm out she called it a little bit of money because i got a little bit of money when you struggling twenty thousand dollars could be life-changing yes for the time being, listen. I, 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 one thousand dollars could be something to invest in something to make could. another twenty thousand dollars. It could, it could more. Listen, listen. I got money that I got comes out of my account separately, but Are my wife. Bragging? No, listen. No, no, no. Listen, just listen, please. My wife knows about it. Like I put an extra couple hundred dollars away. It just sits there. Can she? Can she leave you? No, not in case she leaves me, but she knows <laughs> she knows it's there in case a fucking emergency arises. Um, but she knows. She knows you about. You just it. said that. That she is knows, the whole thing. She knows about. It. She knows <laughs> that. You know, she knows I got money that I spent for the bills, but I got this money saved away. She knows. So if something happens, she'd be like, "Yo, babe, go check your other account, see how much money you got in there." I, cause I don't keep track of it. I just know it goes there. I keep track of the account a little bit. I call up. No, I, I just like listen. Something happened. Something came up. Uh, I go check. Boom. Yeah, Mister Robinson. Uh, yeah, you got about two. You got two thousand. All right. I need five hundred of that right now. Something came up. Or I need two hundred of that. It's just something came up. <clears throat> or who you calling this wire transferring you money like that? <laughs> nah, nah, I got. I got. I got. Call, I got call up, they were like, oh yeah, you got. Yeah, because I got. I got a count. I got an account. I got I got an account right now. I literally take about a hundred, about 120, about 130 dollars a week. Every week comes out of my check. I don't miss it. It automatically comes out. I don't even see it. I don't miss it. It just comes out. And I just let it build. Something bad or something crazy goes down, something happens. I, yo, I gotta call them up, see how much I got in there. I'll be shocked. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm I'm out of the woods right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I got us out of the woods right now. Like we're good. Or sometimes I can have that money saying up. Yeah, we're going on the trip. Like, we need to get away from here. Like, shit's going bad at home. But the thing is, the difference is, motherfucker, I let her know. This ain't no secret shit. I just told my wife, you did some shit like that, and I'm struggling, going to work, beaten, battered, tired, sick. I am putting you through three fucking walls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you are watching me every day be miserable. Strap up my motherfucking <laughs> boots. Come home dead fucking tired. She see me go to work. She see me go to work injured. I mean, I like I went to work four days after a car accident. 
And y'all seen my car. My shit was total. Yeah, I heard you left the hospital and went straight to work from the hospital. <laughs> I went to work three days. <laughs> I went to work three that days. Sound like Kev. That sound I like went to work, dog. I had the weekend off and I went to work after the weekend was over. It happened, you know, I took a day off or two and I went back to work. It gave me two days off. I went back to work. Bandaged you don't work everything. weekends, so technically yeah, you get I, regular I, days yeah. off and then you went. We went right back to fucking work. Bandaged up and everything. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Because I'm working. It's me. <laughs> to say you have that and you home and I'm allowing you to stay home to be a housewife or you go and you got this much money and you just seen me something like that happen to me and I'm going to work. Bro, to, to say to say I'm going to put you through three walls is an understatement. <laughs> something so, is we are. What do you think are some of the things that caused her to she, squirrel away that money, though? She, what caused let's, her to let's squirrel? Look her, let's, let's look at it from her standpoint. Let's look at it. One, your relationship is already bad. Your relationship is bad. And I'm going to tell you why your relationship is bad. Your relationship is bad because finances in that house is bad. This man, I don't know how many jobs he's fucking working, but he, I'm two. pretty sure he <laughs> said two jobs. Yeah. He got to work two jobs to keep y'all afloat in this crib to keep y'all afloat. You don't even think to make a conscious effort I don't give a, I hate this whole, oh, a man's supposed to take care of the house and then find it. Bitch, that was 19 fucking 20, 19, 30. This is 20, 20 fucking three. Everybody got their own opinion. Motherfuckers can be where they want to be. Men and women are equal. Bitch, get to work. Shit, the cost of living is, is cost of living is through the fucking roof. So them arguments every day is about finances. So she knows them arguments about finances. She's not working. So what does she do? I don't have a job. I probably don't have a really good working history. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon money off of our joint account into a private account for myself. So when this nigga finally wakes up and gets tired of my shit, because what that eventually what happens, you wake up. I got a cushion. When you get a divorce, from a man that's working and you're not working and y'all say you got kids together, the judge automatically starts tapping the man <clears> shit. <throat> you gotta either pay alimony or you gotta pay child support. Which one you wanna pay? At least with alimony, you pay alimony, alimony, you can claim that on your taxes. Child support, you can pay that to when the kids get a certain age. She's already gonna get money from him. He's already gonna get money dragged out of his fucking account. And you already sitting on 20 bands. So she said, I'm good. I got a cushion. I ain't got to get a job right away. I can figure some things. To <coughs> I, yeah. She knew she, this is all in her mind. She automatically thinking they're done. She don't think this is this is a working relationship. That, yeah, there, there you go. That's where you got to. Got you. Got I got it. it. She doesn't think this is a working relationship. Yes. And she knows she is sitting on borrowed time with this man. You work in two jobs, that house better be fucking immaculate. The kids better be in fucking check. I better have breakfast and dinner. I better have a day to my fucking self that don't nobody bother me. Ain't not, I'm pretty sure he ain't getting that. Pretty sure the house is fucked up some days. And pretty sure some days she fire. hit fire. It has to be the fire. most, the most riveting. He ain't getting none of that. Exclusive. You are tough. Incomparable. Yo, just I'm, I'm fucking you tired. Two jobs, you tired. Yes. I, I don't have any I don't have any energy to do anything. Plus, I gotta do like we said earlier, take out the trash, cut I the did. lawn. Oh, I gotta do all the man. Thing I, I would keep seeing she, in my head over and over again is she, that she got the ability to change a lie to the you. scenario. She that know. and has the ability to change this as a she, she ain't worried about Kev, that. you know, know, as a man who works all the time, your stress builds up. Mm -hmm. Your stress builds, especially if you're struggling. Your stress is building and building. It you it could create create depressions. You know what I mean? It could it puts you in a different mind frame than you usually are th with this stress. And she has a chance to alleviate that. Anything and yo, we gotta pay for this. I gotta do all this overtime. Da -da -da. She could snip that in the bud. Save nope. save a little stress. No, nope. she's not. That's why I would have left. That's why I would left her. I would have left her. I don't love her because I'm sure she sees this man in the house. 
your woman sees you sometimes not <laughs> at your most vulnerable, but at your vulnerable state. You sometimes, how many times you sat on the bed and you just like fuck, man? You just sitting there thinking about what you got to pay, what's got to be paid, and you doing one of these shits like that, like rubbing your head and looking down, like and saying to yourself and her, you say it out loud. Where the fuck I'm gonna get this money from? And this bitch knows she's sitting on the money, and she doesn't say. I got you. Don't worry about it, babe. I got you. Bitch, if you're going to hide it, at least say I got you and make the problem disappear. I'm going to take it one step further. I don't think none of that shit. I think she was already planning on leaving him. Yeah. It wasn't It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to wait till he leave me. No, she was already. The money was for, I'm going to leave this nigga. Let me get my shit together. That's what I took from that. It wasn't that she was like, oh, he going to get tired of my shit. No. I'm going to leave him. Let me make sure I'm good so I can go get my new place. I can pay the down payment. If I need a new car, whatever I need, the kids. I think that she was planning on leaving him. That's why she fought him and gaslit him when they started arguing about it. She was gaslighting them. Oh, if you leave me, if you leave me, <clears throat> you ain't worried about that man leaving you if he's doing what he's supposed to do. You already, t and then you said, you and then she said this. She said, um, she talked about herself, like, oh, I gotta make sure I'm okay. I gotta make sure I'm okay. Yep. Um, so so that that there is it's you know cool. who she's thinking about. But she also says something else key, and I kind of forgot what it was as I was talking. She said, um, what the fuck did she say? I got as a woman, I should be taken care of. I gotta make sure oh, I'm good. Everything I've done for you, everything I've, I've done for you. What? That's what I'm saying. Her what? mindset was i've done so much for this nigga i'm done like she said it she said it all in her in her argument let me break this down in her argument let me break this down for you bitch i can call uber eats every night or, or stop at or go to a restaurant every night probably half the cost i would have taken care of you i can probably pay a maid half the cost i would be taking care of you take care of my house or I can take away one job. I'm just worried about me. I can cook my, I can clean my own house one time. I'm at work all day. Who's fucking my house up? And get a dishwasher put in my house and wash my clothes on a Sunday and chill. It's just me. The food bill gets cut in half. I ain't got to put as much food in my crib. It's just me. I ain't got to worry about as many dishes in the sink. It's just me. I ain't got to worry about my house being <clears> fucked <throat> up. It's just me. I ain't got to worry about how much gas I put in this motherfucking car. It's just me. What the fuck are you doing for me? If you, you do anything doing for... Nothing? You don't think she's doing nothing for him? She's doing something. If you're doing something for us, you wouldn't have that $20,000. Why? I agree, but what do you, what do you think no, happened beforehand? Huh? I said, I agree, but what do you think happened beforehand to make her feel like she's done something for him? She's probably saying, I, I know, I wash his clothes for him. I, I, I cook dinner here and there for him. I, I make sure the house is straightened up. Yo, that's, you know what? That's cool. You do do that for us. But you know where you lost when you doing it for us is when you say you got $20,000 and I'm struggling to pay a bill. All that shit went the fuck out. You can hear it in that man's voice. All that shit went the fuck out the window. You ain't doing shit for me because you watched me struggle for years on end. You had the ways to solve these fucking problems. Everything you did is out the fuck. Fuck everything you did because you didn't do nothing for me. I'm working two jobs where you clearly can show that you can help us out of this financial situa situation. What have you done for me? Think about that shit. Bro, I don't know how many times I look at a bill like, the fuck? And I'm pissed. And my girl like, you know what? Fuck it, I got it. You know, I, I got a job coming up this weekend. I got this. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> That's doing something for us. You took the stress off my head. That nigga is stressed out every you gotta work two jobs. Do you know how much how stressful it is working one fucking job? Well, I, I personally think that she probably is the one who pays all the bills with his money, is what I'm saying. Um, from the from the way the story unfolded. So that's that's how I think she got the money. I think that she's yo siphoning in that shit. Yep, she's saying, Oh, the phone bill was five hundred, you know, but it was probably three. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me just take this on. The, you know what I mean? Because he ain't looking. He working two jobs. He ain't looking. 
So I, I see it, and I want us to move this conversation forward. But Please think about that. Forward. That's I mean, crazy. But We're think about how much trust. Out that think about how much he trust. Back in his phone bills, he go back in electricity bills. Mm -hmm. Notice that the bills aren't what they say they are. Yeah. Ooh, that's a whole different type of motherfucking lying right uh, there. Yeah, you're right. Listen to it. Think that's how much true. trust, trust, how much trust did he have in her? Yeah. Well, all. All, all the trust. trust, yeah. To blindly well, give wife. you an account and blindly say you're take care of it, trust. I've done that. Get what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying that. That's why she's going to be gone. Trust. He trusts you and he loves you that much to give you that much trust to blindly say, "I'm going to do this. I don't have to worry about nothing else because I trust you that much. I trust you mm -hmm. to do what's best for the both of us." It's a betrayal. And it's the ultimate. <laughs> What's worse, that or cheating, or are they equal? They're I think they're equal. They're equal. They're they're equal. They're fucking. There's no. They are on the same fucking playing field. They both of them things hurt just as equally as worse because you trust her enough to be faithful to you just as much as you trust her enough to take care of both of y'all financially. You broke both of them in All the right. fucking worst way. I'm gonna throw a curveball in there. So what if she broke down and was like, you know what? You're right. And she gave him half of that 10 bands. She, or she gave him half of that dub. She gave him 10 bands. Does that alleviate the situation? No. And is it still, but, but is it still the same as cheating with somebody else yeah. sexually? No. Because, because she can't, you can't, you can't, you can't give back the dick. You can't. Give, I can't man, blindly. I can't give. give I can't take blindly. The back. You can't. <laughs> Listen I, enough. listen, I can't blindly trust you to give you my account to pay the bills. I can't blindly take your word for You'll this is it. that. No, I would. If you stay married to her, you would still do it. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. You know I, why? Because it's your, it's your, it's already in your habit. You're gonna stop your two jobs, and, and no, 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 no. The weekends come home and look at all the bills. You're gonna keep no. I'm gonna, gonna keep my two jobs. My account is locked. You're gonna show me a fucking bill. When you say you got to pay, but you're going to show, you're physically going to show me a bill. Oh, yeah. Them joints ain't paperless no more. And, and, I want and, everything sent to the house. Put them shits on the refrigerator when they come. I'll check them when I get here and I'll send the money to you. Yeah. In the cash app. Yeah. <laughs> you, will get, you will get an allowance. I will, trans, I will transfer it. Yeah. I will transfer it. You, nah. Let some, because let some get well, turned. Saying, like from the main account, I have a, I, first of all, I'm probably, we're going to counseling. Right, because you're married. I, I I'm like that. You're gonna see a doctor first. You're gonna see a doctor for that eye. Then we're gonna go to counseling. Nigga, you gonna you gonna be counseling. <laughs> Beat up his wife. Um, yeah, you going to jail. I'm going to jail now, but I'm probably never gonna trust her again because yo, you if you can do this, then you can hide a kid. Like you you could be one of them people who can get pregnant by somebody else and tell me it's mine. Like if you could do this, you can really do anything because. You have no problem hiding shit from me. And I had to find this. You didn't come out and tell me like, hey, I got some money in the cut. Boom, boom, boom. And then we had a conversation because that could be different. You were hiding it. And then I found out. And then you argued me down your point. So we probably wouldn't wind up staying together because I can never trust you because I'm always question what you do. Nigga, are you going where you say you going? It, that just the trust. Ain't I, the trust. That right there, because you you open up a can of you see <laughs> open up a can of worms, expensive to, worms, expense to everything, every possibility, everything is questionable now. Mm -hmm. So you've been siphoning money. Have you really been going to where you say you go on Tuesday nights? Pilates. Yeah. Is that person that you say you talk to or you know is that really who they truly who they say they are? Boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a think oh, that everything you opened up, everything is that fuck, really gay? Yeah, fuck the betrayal. You are you betrayed me. You broke our trust, mm -hmm. and you don't feel bad. Love me? Oh. You don't feel bad or love me the way you say you do. Mm. You don't care enough for me because you see. I don't care what you you see. We all see how tired each one of our, our spouses come after a long day of work. You see what they look like. Like my wife works and, I, and, and we got, she, when she's working, when she got a job and she comes home tired, 
And even though if I work, maybe I got a little bit more energy than she do. Mm-hmm. I'm cooked tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wash the clothes. You see this man drag his ass through the fucking door every fucking day. You don't care enough to say, enough to say, man, listen, babe, take take a take a couple days off at this job. He goes, I need the money. Don't worry about it. We got the money. Just take a couple days off. Get some, re- you know, get some rest from this job. You know, I know you got the second job, or maybe take a week or a couple days off from both jobs. You know what I'm saying? You don't care enough to let him do that. You just let him. You just let him kill. She was willing to let this man motherfucker run himself into the ground, into death. What she gonna? What she care? I'm gonna walk away with my money that I got saved up. Probably get some money from whatever he got. You don't care enough. You. How can you say you care? Let's let's say she kept going. Let's say he never caught her. What do you think her plan would have been? Because I really want to get us off of yo. She could have helped him. All right, let's let's All right. that. Okay. She would have went on trips. That's for sure. You <sighs> think so? Went on, no. 20 bands. She'd have been able to get her. I, I'm saying team. more. More. If she he never got, got caught. What do you think never, her plan was? She would have left him. She would have got divorced. She. This would have happened. She would have saved up enough money where she felt comfortable enough to leave. And she, this would have her excuse would have been. You're always at work. I never see you. This relationship is not working out. He gonna say I do X Y Z first. I don't care. You should you should somehow find time for me. I need my space. I'm moving on. Now he's sitting there thinking like, damn. And then he, you know, and she can leave. Maybe she's sitting on two hundred at this time, or I say a hundred. Fuck that bitch. How she saved saying, ultra hard? <laughs> no, but she saved twenty bands, nigga. Shit, it ain't. Maybe she said we don't the know hunt. if she says it. He just know that she got yeah, twenty well, bands. We yeah. Don't nobody know. She said, "I'm getting a divorce." She going first. She gonna keep that crib. Crib is gone. That's his. That's hers. Bomb. Then she gonna want. I want alimony or child support. Boom. I'm gone. She's she set herself up to leave. She just got caught in her process of trying to leave. If she would have never got caught. She would have been gone. She was going to be gone. She's going to take that house. She's going to get her money. And she's going to continue her lazy ass fucking ways till she find another sucker to to, to do the same thing. What if she was, what if uh, he was cheating on her and she knew? Then. Does that change the situation? Because I really want us to, we're we're like deadpan (laughs) on this one side and it's like, bleh. Let's she, just spice this shit the fuck up. If she, hey, if he was cheating on her, then you got what you deserve. Is she, my is she warranted <laughs> by squirreling away some money? Let's explore that. Is she? You got what you deserve, bro. You just you got lucky and you caught her, and you ain't hurt too fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? You deserve what you get, y'all. Y'all, because y'all both went equal term on playing fields. You lied and had a whole new something on the side. She lied taking your money. She, you got what you deserve. I agree with Kev, but I feel like that ain't the case because if that was the case, she'd have fucking pulled that out the bag right then and there. Why you got twenty thousand dollars in account? Because I know you cheating, and I need Just to assume. get the fuck up out of here. You think I don't know? Just assume that though. You saying assume that shit? Yeah, because we keep going with the oh she shouldn't have. I, I just think it's the conversation is sticking at one point, and I, I want to get some interesting, interesting shit going on. Man, listen, he got what he deserved. He got you got it. You got what you deserve. You, you, you shouldn't be mad. What can you be mad at? You know what I'm saying? What can you really be mad at? You you, you try to f- pull the wool over her eyes and think she's good. Nigga, she came back and hit you with the ultimate nigga. Uh, I wasn't dumb. I was ready. I was prepared for this shit. You found out I got a count. I found out you got another <laughs> bitch. I got twenty thousand dollars at least walk away from this situation. And nigga, I'm, and that's going to a good lawyer, and we coming for more. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here you go, lawyer. <laughs> going to a good lawyer, and that's coming with more. So, so nigga, get ready. What is that? Your phone, bro? Somebody near Some something phone. or the cord, bro? The cord, the cord, the cord. All right, there we go. Um, yeah. So, is she warranted if he was cheating on her, and she was just saving up for a good lawyer? Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. Why, why, why be mad at her? Would you do she, the same thing? She outsmarted the fox. 
the fox, the fox outsmarted. My bad. The fox outsmarted the hound. Yes. <clears throat> Would you do that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Checkmate, bitch. Oh, <laughs> checkmate. Yeah. Check. No, bitch. Checkmate. Mm, I'm okay. I'm I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, I got twenty thousand dollars to fight a good case. Lawyers are expensive. You work at two jobs and you try to stick keep your head above water. Good luck with your little uh twenty five dollars an hour lawyer. I got me something real. <laughs> I got very real. I'm a lawyer that is a public defender. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. He just asked you for money. Like, can you pay me twenty five dollars an hour? Um, so let me ask y'all a question. Whatever you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. Right, you stumble upon. I don't know if it's your partner's phone, is your partner's whatever bank statement, and you see, get ready, $150,000 in an account. And you and you somehow you figure out it's definitely connected to your partner, like it's their, it's their account. You see it, it's in their name, it's clear as day. You find it, she walks in the door. In your current situation, what's the next thing that you do? You ever, you ever play Street Fighter? Come on, man. Give me. Give me <clears> no, listen, oh, listen. No, no, no. I'm telling you, straight. I, you, you ever play Street Fighter? Remember Zangief, the nigga with a little patch of fur hair on his chest? I, 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 I know that is. That bitch is getting Zangief slammed through that whole house. So I, you told me to stop us if you were going to say something. No, <laughs> oh, I <laughs> am no, bro. We are rumbling through the door. Come on, man. Give me something. All right, bro. I got you. I got you. So, <laughs> so no, I'm, nah, I'm no, no, no. Next move. I'm. I am going to take photographs of this fucking bank statement. I'm going to take photographs, and I'm going to act like I don't know anything. Okay. For at least a little while, and then now I got to do some more digging because at this point, <clears throat> how are you getting all this money? We live together. You know what I'm saying? I see, I'm supposedly see your every move, just like you see my move. But I don't know these moves about 150, which means it makes me feel like there's another life that I don't know about because 150,000 is definitely a life-changing situation, especially the life that I live. You know what I mean? Like that would change, that would give my life a whole 180. And I could we as a family could look for different avenues of wealth than just to be stuck in situations where we're living to pay our bills and take care of our kids and maybe doing things where we get the spare opportunities. You know what I mean? Going on trips every very now and then. <clears throat> when you got the 150000 in your account and I see this, my mind is racing because it's like, how are you getting this money? Where are you getting this money from? Now I might use a money. Now I might use some of my personal money to fucking hire a private investigator to see what the fuck is going on outside this other shit. Because if there's other things that I find along with this 150, when I do come for your head, I want parts of that too. I want parts of it all. You know what I'm saying? But don't let me find out that you cheating and you got 150,000 and somebody put money in your account. You doing some crazy? What? You think would you, you marry her? Ways? Would you marry her immediately and then put something in the which we'll call it and then like? <laughs> oh wait, wait, we not we not married at that point. I said right now. I'm talking both of y'all lives right now. I'm saying marry your wife, put something in there about cheating that you get. Like, <laughs> oh, I, if I we're not married, if we're not married, I don't hold her to the exact same standards as we are after we file legal documentation. That if she has one hundred fifty thousand in her account. The person that I have right now, I know and I know 100% that she does everything that she possibly can financially, mentally, physically, you know what I mean, that she can to make sure that our family stays good, just like I try to do. And <clears throat> I don't believe that that would ever happen. But if we're not married, her money is still her money at the time. And my money is still my money. You know what I mean? I don't ask her what she has. Yeah, and she don't ask me. We we openly talk about our finances because we need to know what we got to do together to make this work. You know what I mean? But I'm not looking for her bank statements to see what she got and what she don't got. Now, when we get married and we make all of our shit a joint account and everything is one because you under my name now, but then I expect to know things just like you know things. And then I'm going to hold you to that accord. But right now, what's hers? Okay. 
What's hers? It's hers. What's mine is still hers. Your <laughs> hey, I, 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 current I, situation, one hundred and fifty. <laughs> she just came up and you don't. All right. Would if I marry, if I, I, if we married and it's just one hundred fifty thousand, I'll find out, dude. I'm gonna find out a way to get access to that account. I might start siphoning off that motherfucker. You was bold enough to keep it. I'm just because you was an asshole. I will make you come hunt this motherfucker man down. And you will figure out where it's going. Then you're going to say it's going to me. Are you going to tell me about now? Are you going to tell me about this account? Or are you going to keep playing dumb? <laughs> when it's empty, you going to oh, you can, I ain't going to, I ain't going to, I ain't going to take the whole 150,000. I might dip in that motherfucker, take a thousand here, 500 here. Five. Let's see if you're going to be honest. Let's see if, <laughs> let's see if you are bold enough to speak about this account and why you have it. I'm going to make you talk to me about it. She comes to you. What happens next? Oh, she comes to me about this me, me taking money. Kim turns into oh, we, no, 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 no. Oh, we <laughs> hide money. I thought this was something for the both of us. We together. We married. Mm. If it's we together, motherfucker. Right I ain't I together. It's I'm we together. Right so okay. we. This is our money. You know what I'm saying? Just like my money been our money since we married. This is our money. I thought this was our money. Good I was right just now. I would just say it right now, Kev, before you put it right now, before I get married, 150000 Yo, you, uh, listen. Oh, you, oh, all that shit go away, right? (laughs) No, no, no. You just see me struggle and you got 150000 Yeah, listen. Good luck. You got me. Get the fuck out of my life. Take you and your money the fuck out of my life. You see me struggle and do all this shit and you got all this money. Mm-hmm. Shit could have made it easier for me. Fuck out my... I don't want to deal with nobody with you. I ain't marrying you because I ain't got time for this bullshit to come up when, when we get married. Of me trusting you in certain situations. I don't give a fuck what this money's for. This money this money wasn't a goal. Uh, you better come and, and say, babe, this money's for a fucking car I plan or a Hellcat I plan on getting you or something like that. Then I apologize and feel like an asshole. Word. The Hellcat is not getting you. Yeah, but you better, but you got that money. You go get me Hellcat tomorrow. If not, like, I'm, we done. I don't care. Go get me the Hellcat that's tomorrow. That's a good twist. Go get me tomorrow. But if yeah. that's not this you money. You will feel like also if it was something that was going to be. If she <laughs> said what that lady, if she said what that lady said in the beginning of this video. What? If she said what that lady said at the beginning of the video that she was looking out for her. Bye. Bye. I don't need you. You got a hundred. You got a hundred. You know what? You got that all. Get the fuck out of my life. Don't talk to me. Don't fuck with me. Don't. We ain't got shit to say about to each other in life. The rest of life, take your money and go. The fuck the I don't. Fire though. I don't give a fuck. Pussy fire. I, I don't care, bro. This woman now. I'm just saying. I ain't gonna. If talk pussy about fire, are good. You still gone. You just <laughs> good. You gone. I'm tell you. And tell you, I'm tell you when you come back. You gonna come back on my terms when I get horny. Mm, okay. Okay. All right, does uh, she have to pay you each time out of that 150? No, nah, she ain't got to pay me. Keep your motherfucking back. Back. But you go, oh, you go, we go the fuck out. I'm like, yo, you got, I'm gonna hit it with, yo, you got the money. What the fuck? I ain't got no money. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna survive after I that. I don't care. I don't, I don't want it to survive. That's the thing. I don't no, I know what I'm to, saying. Like, it ain't gonna survive. You're right. I don't want it to survive. You have, if she said what that lady said, this is for her and she's looking out for her, she's a woman. All right, motherfucker will be a woman. Get the fuck away from me. I, you ain't the woman I'm looking for. Go, go get a nigga that cheats and and and, and keep secrets and shit. Go be with him, y'all. Both of y'all can have secrets together, and y'all can be looking for each other's secrets the whole time y'all in a relationship together with each other. I ain't got time to be digging up no goddamn secrets. Like I'm keeping shit honest and open with you. I expect the same fucking thing. You see me out here doing X, Y, Z, and you got all this money. Cool, cool. Enjoy life with your hundred fifty thousand dollars. Maybe it's more more important. That money's more important to you than I am to you. Cool. I don't give a fuck. How are you going to feel? I'm going to be hurt than the motherfucker. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm be hurt because I just watched $150,000 walk out the door <laughs> and my girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't my money. It ain't my money. I just need $150,000. I couldn't get a piece of it. I'll be hurt. Now. You know, so you lose love for her then. But if it was for, I'm not going to say what it might have been for, but something for the family. She just, you confronted her and she says, ah, I was going to be a surprise. I feel like an asshole then. I had to apologize. No, you didn't flip out yet. You didn't flip out on her yet. Oh, 
But if you come to her and she says, oh, I was supposed to be a surprise. I got this is a down payment for a fucking I don't know. I, I don't want to give up. I'm just a saying house, a car or something. Anything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go do it. Now we both know about it. But okay. go do it. You know what I'm oh, saying? You, go. You want to see the proof. OK, I got you. Yeah, I want to see. Go do it. Okay. I want to see the proof. Yeah. And don't do this shit no more. <laughs> don't hide this from me no don't, more. Yeah, don't 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 play no fucking games with the money situation. I think those are things that can end a relationship. It's finance, romance, something else. Finance and romance can end a relationship. Lance, a nigga named Lance, and, and a nigga named Lance, and trust. Finance, romance, and trust. Oh, that ain't rhyme. Yeah, but I'm saying finance and romance can end a relationship. This is a yeah. This oh my gosh, this it pissed me off when I watched the video. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm a man right now in my current state. My girl was going to school to become a teacher, and this year, she, like I said, she gets to teach. But I was a man like my wife ain't never like I bought her a car. She ain't make one part car payment on that car. Car insurance. I don't give a fuck. I ain't bra- It's not bragging. It's, yeah, but I was a, brag about. Ah, right, if that's bragging, then uh, that's that's some that's some that I like some lame ass shit, man. I'm pretty sure y'all y'all niggas do that shit too. Y'all got shit that your My wife ain't never. Y'all got y'all wife's got shit that she ain't put a fucking dime on that you put every bit of your money on. Yeah, I mean, right, you, you are correct. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm joking with you. Yeah, to, to break it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying, but. I will be pissed because I was in. I paid everything so you can go to school. So now we, you got a job. You are gonna be making more money than me an hour, and we good with life. You get what I'm saying? We're good. I took the gamble, and it paid off. So I felt this niggas. I felt everything this man was going through. The difference was this bitch was just some broke bitch on some broke bitch shit. <laughs> on stay a broke bitch. Yeah, I, I stand by the I stand by the, the the fact that somebody just gave her bad advice at one point, and just like them, she's probably going to be alone in life because mm-hmm. you know you you did some fuck shit, and yeah, you're you were prepared for when you did your fuck shit when you wanted to leave. So enjoy life. So I stand with Keith, man. That's my final answer. I stand with Keith. Stand with Keith also. Oh man, we need t-shirts. <laughs> stand with I Keith. stand stand with Keith, man. <laughs> Uh, man, I I hope I hope he left her. I really do. I'll call him. I'll make sure. I hope so, man. <laughs> we gonna wrap this shit up, man. Like anybody got anything else to speak on this subject before we wrap this shit up? Fuck Lucretia. <laughs> that was her name, right? Her name was I don't know. Whoa. If her I mean, name yeah. was Lucretia, you should have really thought about making decisions of making this bitch your wife. Because if her mom gave her a ghetto, the word ghetto is name you can find Lucretia. You found that bitch in a bad situation. That is racist. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck coming from a black. You'll man. never get the hundred and fifty thousand now. Lucretia <laughs> <laughs> you know how to get that shit. Lucretia came from a fucked up situation, and you knew it. Oh, I do have, I do have something to say. Um, old bitter moms and grandmas who aren't married anymore. I say exactly what I say to anybody else. Um, stop giving advice, so people can end up as miserable as you. And people who are looking for advice from anybody, don't take advice from a motherfucker who ain't where you want to be. That's the number one rule in life. Yeah. Don't take advice from a nigga who fuck you going to tell me how to have a happy marriage and you divorced two times or you ain't never been married or you can't tell me shit. That's why I listen to no Dre. Fuck. That's why I always take my advice from Dre. I ain't got good advice. You do. You I'm a fucking, mad. We're anomaly. <laughs> I don't care, but I take advice from you. You married the longest out of yeah, I've been married twice. Shit. <laughs> don't take no advice from me, especially about cheating. I tell you how to fuck some shit up. Can't tell you how to make it right. I tell you how you I fucked it up. There's a clip. <laughs> there is a clip, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're out, man. And thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast, man. Enjoy y'all evening or day or whatever y'all doing. Peace. Fuck you, Lucretia. <laughs> <laughs>